Emil Keatman, Mexican correspondent. Anna Keatman, temp. Katie Keatman, weather girl. And our anchor, Keatman. Introducing the It's Keatman Time 6 o'clock news team. Hello you, welcome to news time. The headlines tonight, election scandal. Is the student union as dirty as my mother's underwear? Mexican swine flu in Hertfordshire. Is anybody safe? Exam pressures. Will rising suicide rates turn the campus into a ghost town? Our top story tonight, Sri Dazari, recently elected president of the student union, has come under scrutiny suggesting that he bribed, cheated and harassed his way into the office. It's like Nixon in 68 all over again. Joining me live from College Lane is James Belmont, election candidate. James, welcome yeah, to the pleasure, show. Uh, pleasure to be here. Had Shri attempted any sort of intimidation techniques in order to psych out its opposing candidates? Not as far as I know. Um, I'd say he did do a lot of cheating. Uh, he did go around telling people, vote me and not him. But that's just the way Shri is. So we thought he was playing fair, really. According to sources, Shri supposedly went over the electoral budgets allocated to him by the student union. How did he come across these extra expenditures? Robbing a bank? Maybe he's Jewish. It was only five pounds, um, and to be fair, he is a DHAV campus officer, so that's yeah, probably why he got away with it more than anything. Um, we all thought it was unfair, he should have been disqualified for it, but because it's true and who he is and what he actually does in the UHSU, got away with it. Well, James, that's all we've got time for. Thank you for joining us. We're crossing now to Emil Keatman, who's found out that Mexican swine flu has found a new home right in Hertfordshire. That's right, Keatman. I'm standing here today outside Chiquito's, the new Mexican restaurant that's just opened up in Hatfield last Christmas. Now, several reports have surfaced suggesting that this locale is the site for the next outbreak of the Mexican swine flu virus. Several reports have also claimed that the Mexican swine flu is only the precursor to an all-out Mexican invasion of Britain. Now this particular strain of the virus, which is allegedly being created right here behind these very walls, is said to have a deadly disposition to the British genealogy. With me today is Miguel Sanchez, a kitchen hand here at Chiquitos. Mr. Sanchez, what can you tell us about this new strain of the virus? And can you confirm reports that Chiquitos is the base of operations for an imminent Mexican invasion? I just work here. Stunning revelations. It seems that our worst fears have been confirmed. And this reporter is not alone in thinking that the only solution to this problem is to kill all the Mexicans. This map shows the Mexican headquarters and its close proximity to the University of Hertfordshire. Under cover of darkness, a team of specially trained operatives will launch an assault on the Mexican camp using M16s and the Molotov cocktails that Gary brought. The mission will be dangerous, and many of us may not make it back alive. I'm Emil Keatman. Back to you, Keatman. Thanks, Emil. If I see you hanging around outside my house again, I'll have you arrested. Well, it's that time of year again. Students are putting down the booze and drugs and picking up the books. That's right, it's exam time. Many students are suffering from exam pressure. And as our reporter Anna Keatman will tell you, suicide can sometimes be an option. Thank you, Keatman. It's now that time of the year when students are revising for their GCSEs, A-levels and final exams. But exam pressure can get too much and sometimes cause quite bad consequences. Now I'm going to talk to Tom over here. Tom? Hello. 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 Tom, do you suffer from exam stress? Yes. Yes, I do. Would you like to um, talk to us a little bit more about that exam stress? It sometimes leads to hurting myself. I've got a plaster today. Um, yes, that I, looks quite bad. I had an exam this morning. Okay, uh, we appear to have lost the signal for that one. Now here's Katie Keatman with the weather. Katie. As you can see today, it's going to be rather sunny with some clouds over here, and there's a slight chance of rain. So to sum up in one word what will happen with the weather today, very changeable. That's all we've got time for tonight. I'm Keatman and my pants are on fire. <laughs>